Hi, this is Jack's Victory. Today I'm going to show you um, Ubuntu Studio. It's a Linux, Ubuntu Linux um, distribution. It's a modification of, of Ubuntu. I mean, it has, it's more studio based for the multi multimedia pro producer who wants to use Linux. So there's a modified kernel, so it's it can handle like video editing better. So um, just I just installed it in a virtual machine yesterday, so I'm I'm gonna just show you the show you around the operating system. Still learning my way around it. Though. Sorry. Uh, what is that grub here? Uses seems to be using an older kernel, perhaps. Yeah, they haven't updated the, to the new. Or maybe they did. I just haven't installed the updates yet. I don't plan on using using this virtual machine for my studio work because it only has um like eight gig of eight gig of space. So uh, I'm just gonna pop in a password. Yeah, there it is. It's now playing a pretty nice sound. A nice change from the from the very tribal Ubuntu startup song. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I added this panel. Um, normally you wouldn't get this panel, but uh, you can add it like just like in Ubuntu. Um, all right. We have all the applications here, but no games. This Ubuntu Studio is not like game. Right, you have calculator, vector map, this this usage and anal analyzer. Manage print jobs, search for files, take screenshot, terminal, text editor, graphics, I gave, I'm not sure what, generate color scheme. Oh, it's a color picker. Yeah, I, I saw I saw a review on this before. All screen. Blender, really good, but although I don't know how to use it, it's really hard. Font Forge, font, font frame. Font matrix is like, um, sort of like, sort of like, um, Font hook, font hook, font, font hook, Apple. Um, all right, we have um, F spot. Um, it's not, it's not shot well. Oh yeah, as you can see, there's update manager, which means I haven't updated this yet. I might, just, cause I, uh, just using this, this as the test and for this review, this game, the Hugen batch processor. I'm not sure what this is. Panorama creator for images, vector graphics. Alright, Inkscape, yeah, I heard it's pretty good. Uh, it's like Adobe Fireworks. This is Scribus. Um, yeah, I, I used it before. It seems pretty, pretty good also. also. The stop motion, create stop motion animations, and Xene image scanning program. I think similar to Simple Scan. Internet, we got Firefox. Oh yeah, just a note, if you uh, want to install this, um, you have to use a text-based installer. There's, not, there's no like fancy installer, the um, regular Ubuntu gives you. Yeah, but hey, you get a, you get a really cool op studio operating system, you just have to like, survive a, survive a, a text-based installer. Office, we don't have open office, but I bet you could get it anyway. So it's just dictionary in here, you can get open office if you want. The sound and video, oh, a lot, a lot. So because this is where um, Ubuntu Studio comes in strong, strong point is there's a whole lot of um, programs, right? Auto, Elsa connector, it's for MIDI connections, so plug a MIDI keyboard, in which case mine's the Korg M50, right? a Lewis organ emulator, it's probably some kind of synthesizer, a Ardor, a Ardor, yeah, really good. It's really good. I, I haven't got it working yet on Mac. Alright. Uh, oh, I uninstalled it. Yeah. So uh, I haven't got it working yet. And so uh, some problems with Jack. I'm still new to it. And Audacity, really good. Okay. But yeah, Linux. Linux is like a truly a plug and play operating system. You plug in, I plugged in my LSE IO2 Express audio interface and tested it without. Need to install any drivers on the beast. Um, sim very similar to 
LMMS, probably a lot. There's, there's a syn modular synthesis, so synthesizing it. Bit neater, and uh, it's for things for analyzing Jack, calf per game pack for Jack. It's, it's a synthesizer, I think. Auto mixer, uh, sound pad control. I'm not sure what this is. Free buff. So it's just, uh, I'm still learning around. Alright, I just installed this yesterday, I'm not used to it. Where did it, where did it go? I'm not sure I seem to be error in opening. Sorry. Probably some kind of a synthesizer, right? Yeah, I remember I tried to open it yesterday, it didn't work. Alright, it's all these things like hydrogen. Ah, LMMS. Unfortunately this is the old LMMS. 0.0, 0.4.5. Um, doesn't have the VSTs, in it, so you have to use Synaptics uh, to get the yeah, or you have to use a re repo at a repo to to get LMS 0.4.9 or yeah. Actually, there's 0.4.10, but it's only for Windows. I, I have it running through Wine on my Mac. Yeah, you saw if you saw my last video about. Um, wine on uh, wine and Mac, Mac on Mac OS X on my LMS. Yes, yes. Um, I might do another video about that later. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. just a quick review of all of this. Right, we have all, all of these two mix. Uh, it's pretty good DJ software. Muse. Um, it's a MIDI sequencer. Uh, this is. This is a really good software. I have it for Mac, as you can see. Right, it's um, it's uh, for mu writing musical scores. I'm gonna do a video, a full video on this, pretty soon. Right, it comes with a demo song. There's even a synthesizer in there. All these Zenet sub effects, I told you, it's really good. So, all these are those things. I, I, I don't have time to show, show all of them. I might do videos for some of them next time, but not today. Video production, uh, very little uh, compared to audio. <laughs> There's no KDN Live, which is, um, I think it's the best open source video editor. It works for Mac also, but um, not as stable. You need Mac ports and Xcode and all stop motion to know here. I thought it was here. Yeah. Weird. Alright, we have Audacious, um sort of like rhythm box brace roll. L V two is for um L L A D S P A plugins or whatever. Yeah, it's something for that. Movie player, house audio, Zin Jackie this uh, like a uh, Zinep sub effects um, converted into an L V two plugin. Right. Um alright, that's about it yeah. So let's see the file for now. Alright, wow. Pretty good, pretty cool looking. What do you think? It's. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, system, we have all of these. Um, there seem to be more than the usual Ubuntu. Alright, um, yeah, we have all of these. Uh, MIDI keyboard. Um, uh, no, sorry, sorry. Um, there's administration. Um, I'm not sure if they have the Ubuntu software center here. Right, it might be a little hard to find, but you can use Synaptics in a way. It's, it, I think it takes stuff from the Ubuntu repositories. Um, right, yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty good operating system if you work in a studio and you like Linux. There's loads of updates, but I'm not going to install them now. Right, uh, Alright, thanks for watching this video. Um, please subscribe and comment for more music from the original music or covers of piano covers or synthesizer covers or anything. Yeah, alright. Please subscribe, comment, and tell me what you think of my second screencast. Um, my third screencast is uh, probably going to come really soon, possibly even a few minutes after this is done. Alright, so thanks for watching.